Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so, um, I'm gonna show you how to turn a half sheet of square paper into two hearts, okay? This is two hearts, and it's just, this is just one sheet of paper, okay? And yeah, and I'm gonna show you how to fold it now, and on Valentine's Day, I'm gonna show you how to make this heart folded from a half sheet of square paper, okay? So, for this model, click right here when it's available, okay? Alright, so... You want to learn how to fold these two hearts? Alright, so, use a half sheet of square paper, okay? And what you do is you just fold a, a square in half. You just fold a square sheet of paper in half, and then you, you and then you either cut it or split it apart, tear it apart, and then you'll get this one, okay? Alright, so, get a half sheet, and what you do is you, you fold it in half like this. Okay? Fold it in half in both directions, okay? Now, um, unfold and fold in half the other way. Okay? This is pretty simple to fold. Okay? Yep, it's simple. It's not that hard. There's not really any tricky steps to it. Okay, just like this. Well, there, there's one tricky step to it. Like, one kind of tricky step, okay? And this is the kind of tricky step. We're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up. And we're just gonna fold it up so that, um, this length is equal to this length right here, okay? And to check yourself if you're right or not, you can fold this part behind like this. So you're creating like a Z shape, okay? Just like this. And if the points do not line up, then just fiddle with the folds until they do, okay? So, this is like that. And then just, just kind of move them back and forth like that, okay? Okay, a little too much of that time, so. Like that. It's all about fiddling with the folds. Okay, and on this side, make sure it looks like an S shape or whatever it is. And then just fiddle with the fold until they line up like that. Okay? Alright, and once you're happy with that, crease sharply right here. And right here. Okay? Okay, just like that. And now let's go ahead and reverse the mountain fold like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna squash fold these two flaps, and here's how to do that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our finger all the way inside, and we're gonna squash it down. And if you're right or not, if you turn over, and just make sure that the crease right here aligns with the crease right here. Okay, just like that. Okay, and crease sharply. Okay, this is one heart, and this is one heart. Okay, and now squash fold this one. Okay. Take and just squash fold it, okay? And I'm not gonna turn it over. I'm just gonna do it like this. Another way, if you're right or not, you can just make sure that this point touches this edge, okay? Just like this. Okay, just like that. Now let's fold one over and fold this over, like that, okay? And now this fold is arbitrary, but it doesn't matter how much you fold it up. But I'm just gonna fold this up. Uh, I'm just going to fold it up halfway, so I'm, I'm going to do thirds, so I'm going to do it about like that. Now, fold it over and fold this and do the same thing on here. And, and this one, you can just make the fold align with the edge behind. Okay, just like this. And unfold it like that. Okay? Well, fold it over like that, okay? And on this side, do the same thing. Fold it down. I'm, I'm gonna do thirds, so I'm just gonna do it like that. It's all about eyeballing it. Like, yeah. Okay, just like that. Okay. Now let's turn over, and now we're gonna fold this part up. And this is also arbitrary, but just try to match what I do. So maybe about like that is good. About like that. Okay, and on this side, do the same thing. You can just match this with that, okay, with that right there. And on this side, just fold it up about like that. About like that is good. And on this side. Okay, just like that, okay? 
and we're almost done, okay? I mean, if you like it like this, then you're done, but to make it look more like hearts like this, where I put crevices on, here's how to do that. So, um, the crevices, we're going to make a, a reverse fold on here and here, so let's do it on this. So just, we're just going to do a, re a reverse fold to taste, okay? This is a reverse fold to taste, like this, okay? Maybe you do it about like that. Pinch it like that, okay? And there is one heart. And let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, just like that, okay? And there it is. There's the two hearts. Okay? And yeah. And if you find that the edges right here are too short up here, and it looks kind of ugly like that, then what you can do is you can... You can just kind of hold right here like this, and then you can fold it down just a little bit like this. Just fold it down a little bit like that, okay? Just to make it longer. If you want it longer, then you can just fold it down a little bit like that, okay? And now it looks longer like that. So that's better, okay? All right, so, and the rest of them are fine, okay? So, there it is. And it can, it can even close up like a card, like that. So, yeah. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed folding this, and be ready for this heart, okay? And again, when the tutorial for this is available, click right here, okay? Alright, so, there it is. Well, I hope you guys like that, and I'll see you guys later. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and alright, bye.